Today, something new from SRAM, these very small remote wireless axis compatible satellite shifters. They weigh next to nothing and can be mounted pretty much anywhere you can reach on your bike. I'm a huge fan of satellite shifters on electronic group sets, being able to change gears on the tops or in the drops is kind of handy. These are no exception. I've been using these for the last month or so on the gravel bike and I really like them. A close up look at these little wireless blips and they are quite small. Have a nice click to them and they weigh in at seven grams each with the supplied brackets coming in at one gram each. Size wise, no wider than about 22 mil and just under 40 millimeters in length. The supplied brackets are optional. You don't need to use them, but if you do, they snap into those quite nicely too. Digging into further details on these little units, 38 millimeters by about 21.5, and as you saw in the video there, seven grams, very, very light. Battery life, estimated between four and seven plus years. Now, that is important because they have a non-replaceable, non-rechargeable battery. There's a two-year warranty on these things, which does include the battery, so if they do go flat in those two years, I'm sure SRAM will look after you there. IPX7 waterproof rated, and the configuration of these is done by the SRAM Access app. Price-wise, coming in for the set, so two of these with brackets, US $99, 100 euros, or 90 pounds, and they're available now. The technical requirements for using these on your bike, well, first of all, you do need the blips. You also need a SRAM Axis compatible rear derailleur, so that being Red Force Rival or Explore on the road slash gravel side of things, or an Eagle rear derailleur with the updated firmware recently released. You also need one primary shifter, that being an Axis Road Lever, Mountain Bike Controller, Blip Box, or VUCA Shift TT Bar for the initial pairing, and you need the updated Axis mobile app for the configuration. The pairing process is straightforward, demonstrated here on my one by setup, putting the rear derailleur into pairing mode by pressing and holding the axis button until the green light starts flashing. I then need to pair a primary shift unit, so a lever, blip box or Vulcan shift. In this example here, I'm using my left lever. And right after that primary shifter pairing, I pair the wireless blip by pressing and holding the button for four seconds. The fast flashing indicates that's a successful pairing for the first wireless blip, and I rinse and repeat for the second wireless blip, not needing to repair the shifter. I can just press and hold that for four seconds, and that's been successfully paired too. Job done. Configuration wise, by default, they'll work with the first pair unit going up the gearing and the second pairing unit going down the gearing, but you can pull out the SRAM Axis mobile app and assign the configurations, either a single press or a combination action. I expect these to be quite popular with time trialists and triathletes. Being able to clean up the front end of your bike without all these wires makes things a lot neater. On the road side of things, if you're running red axis levers, you've got two auxiliary ports. If you're running force levers, you've only got one auxiliary port. And if you're running rival levers, you've got no auxiliary ports for remote shifters. These solve that problem. Now, another thing of note is these don't have a access button on them to do micro adjustments. So SRAM have now introduced micro adjustments or trimming within the SRAM Access app. So there we are for today, the new wireless blip access buttons from SRAM. Links in the video description below. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.